Welcome to a gray morning in Newark, New Jersey, as we watch the FedEx plane landing. And this is definitely an airport hotel. You can see, got all the buses and all of the rail activity basically separates this hotel from the rest of Newark, New Jersey. And since we have another flight delay, last time we saw Frankfurt, ooh, last time we saw Frankfurt in Germany, kind of a city that typically people don't go out and see because it's just got a big airport. Well, Newark is even more interesting from that aspect, right? So we're gonna leave this airport hotel room, which has probably seen better days, and check out Newark, New Jersey. So here we have Frontage Road, and as you can see, they've just sort of patched it up a little here, a little there over the years, and then all the trash that's accumulated out front of these airport hotels, evident here that air airport hotels are not ideal places to stay. So basically just a gigantic behemoth we are here outside the Newark Visitor Center, which it says is closed on weekends, but they sort of uh, brand themselves as Newark Happening. And you can see they've got some nice flowers set up here outside the Visitor Center. And I will show you up ahead here. You are now seeing the Prudential Building, which I saw something outside the visitor center which said prudential insurance was founded here in newark new jersey that's the word on the street so it would seem that uh that building is still operational today even though it's a newer one of course probably got some jobs going on in there and I'm trying to think of like what my impression of Newark is. I've never been here before. And growing up kind of in the top mid middle of the country, <laughs> you have this impression of the Northeastern US and maybe you've been there, maybe you haven't, but you sort of have this impression that seem, seems like it kind of starts with Sesame Street. I always associate Sesame Street, the children's show with being um, kind of based in the Northeast. But from there, you just have this image of, um, like, a lot, lot of population is Italian, Irish, um, Puerto Rican, and um, lots of little neighborhoods, I, I think, that kind of comes to mind, like lots of little neighborhoods in these places where those people live standard, regular lives in these northeastern cities that, um, we're seeing here today and unfortunately in the in our country we always do have homeless people whether here in Newark or elsewhere and here it looks like Newark has um, dedicated a statue to one President Kennedy so you can see how to this day there are just regular old towns and cities across America, but I think especially here in the Northeast, who really sort of remember and honor President Ken Kennedy fondly. Newark doing the same. This is as far down as I dare go into this subway station. But let us see, it has seen better days. And um, I will say that I, did, I do not feel especially comfortable <laughs> in that place down there because you're sort of like, you feel like you're kind of trapped in there. And one thing I know when you're traveling around is that um, until you get used to a place, you really don't know where the boundaries are and you know what's normal, what's not. Um, what would be considered ill-advised, and that seemed to be a bit ill-advised, so. Got in and out of there quick, but across the street, 
Hopefully you can see that very elaborate kind of exterior to this building. It's got a big clock above those doors and then almost reminds me of kind of like an Empire State entrance over there with all the metal, elaborate metal work. Maybe you can see on that building, got a couple windows perhaps missing up there, as it would seem. And as we listen to the sounds of Central Newark, here's a plaque that tells you in 1824, a General Lafayette, who was very close with Washington, was entertained here on his first visit to Newark, right here on this very spot. So all of this is, of course, very old history that probably nobody down here cares about anymore. Um, nobody but me and hopefully you. Four presidents who have stayed here at the Robert Treat Hotel in downtown Newark. But that's not all. We have four more over here. And the only one that's kind of not very recognizable, does that look like Franklin Roosevelt right there? So in case you've ever wondered what Newark looks like, that is just a little taste here of the very central area around Military Park. Unfortunately, while I would like to look around a little more, I've got to rush off to the airport. I was glad though to have a chance to at least experience a little of what Newark, New Jersey has to offer. So hopefully we will see you in the next average American city. And until then, goodbye.